Hello everybody, this is going to be a long video on just trees in terrain. It's just it's only going to be about trees and the process of what I've done to try and optimize and keep these trees uh, as running as good frame rate as possible. Now, this is what the terrain currently looks like with the trees. Um, this is literally all I've done. This is it. That's, uh, you can probably, if you're not interested in the development of the trees and why um, making these was so difficult, then on, you can just click off. I don't, I don't really care. Um, but I'm going to get into why these trees are so hard to make. So first thing, um, we have, first off, uh, my GPU is currently maxed. Uh, obviously, this is not a good thing. <laughs> because, uh, well, you don't want it to be maxed. You want it to be uh, as low as possible. And the reason for this is because I'm not doing what's called LODs, or loss of detail over distance. And um, in video games, uh, what every video, every video game does, except for, I think, Unreal Engine, but I'm not going to do that right now. Um, what it does is, let's get a good example. Um, this mine right here is a good example. Um, the quality of, you can kind of see the lighting changes a little bit over distance to the ball. You can, you can if you if you uh, notice it enough. And, and this is because if you're far enough from the object, there's no reason to render that as many polygons as you're currently rendering. Um, so I have this little command that basically sets the current um, LOD level of the object to its lowest value and when I do that you can see that it becomes all weird and misshaped and honestly just kind of um, interesting looking and there's an even lower level of the object where it's like it's you can't even like tell what it even is it's a weird shape it's just kind of weird looking and but this is what renders, oh my bad, sorry, my sounds are a little messed up, I'm not sure why. Um, but if I go over here, th that's pretty much what would render at this distance. Because there's no reason to render um, this level of detail when you're like across the map. That's, that's stupid, of course. Um, I haven't implemented that yet, which is why my GPU is currently maxed. And LODs are going to be difficult because of the way that I'm doing trees and I'm going to explain how these trees work so let's pretend this is our terrain and we have all of these chunks um, the terrain is made of chunks like Minecraft um, if I, hi I can highlight this right here and um, uh, you can see the glow kind of around the chunk uh, that it makes I can highlight it here with the tool gun you can sort of see like the grid of the chunk um, uh, chunks, uh, I'm not going to get into why you should uh, chunks are being used, but basically, uh, for performance reasons, you're going to use chunks because you don't want to render the whole scene. Uh, again, similar to Minecraft. Uh, let's go down here, and now you're probably thinking, oh, well, trees can't be that hard. All you have to do is just, you know, spawn a tree for every vertex, or spawn a tree every couple of units or whatever, and then... Uh, maybe align it a little differently, maybe give a different model, uh, varying tree models, and there you go. Now you have trees on your train. No, it's not that easy. Because Source has this amazing thing called the Edict Limit. And what the Edict Limit is, is if you have over a certain number of objects, it will not let you spawn anymore. Um, this is probably due to memory reasons, but to, to keep it simple, just know that there is a limit to how much props you can spawn in in a map. Uh, from what I'm aware, it is roughly 8,000, like 192, I think. It's like 2 to the power of um, like 9 or something. I, I, don't, I don't remember exactly, but basically uh, there's a maximum limit of entities that you can spawn per map. And this is over 8,000 trees. This is a lot of trees. So how in the world am I getting all of these trees to be rendered when there is a limit of 8,000? 
and these trees are being dynamically created it is um, I can modify the terrain but it takes forever to generate now because I have to manually align each vertex on the tree and I'll explain why so let's pretend we have our old um, the tree system where we um, this is a, a simplification this isn't exactly how many trees there are but um, we have all of these trees on um, a chunk and let's pretend this is a chunk like these uh, blue lines or whatever you want to call them are part of the chunk well um, each of these would be too much to render in source uh, not only is it super laggy but it's um, just like a terrible technique and and just um, there's a limit of course as I've, I've explained earlier so we have oops something, something like this where I have grouped each of these trees into what's called a mesh and a mesh is basically what the game has to render um, a visual mesh anyway I'm going to I'm just explaining visual meshes right now but a mesh is basically what the game has to render so this object here has a visual mesh and it looks like some kind of playground um, thing that you'd put on um, this has a mesh it is a horse um, this is a mesh it's a skull and there's there's it's a mesh and basically it's what's being rendered um, and I've combined all of these trees into a single mesh so that it looks kind of like this on the terrain. Let's pretend that the, the terrain like goes up in this chunk. Um, and that's all well and good. Now we have now we have grouped sections of chunks and the um, and now it, we're, we're not overloading the CPU. We're not overloading any frame rate we're not having as big of frame rate issues and biggest of thing we are not overloading or we are not going over the edict limit um, however there is a consequence that comes with using this kind of technique and that is source is stupid <laughs> let me explain so we have this mesh here and the problem with creating a mesh without an object to parent it to is the source doesn't like it the lighting becomes weird if you may have noticed the lighting in the trees changes depending on my position in the world if I go under the construct building all of the trees turn black it's very weird um, and my assumption is because it's taking the lighting from your player's position and applying it onto the trees instead of taking the trees position and applying it on the trees why the source do this don't ask me why I don't know so this is just another problem that I'm gonna have to encounter um, in source let's find our there it is there's our chunk area so now that we've we've solved the main issue but um, we have this other issue where I have to parent the trees to an object and then use that as its lighting um, and of course with more objects equals failing edicts but hopefully it's enough because um, I'm I'm not using too many um, it looks like a lot of trees but it's actually more like um, 50 objects ish per chunk so it's not terrible um, it's certainly better than like rendering um, I don't know how many trees this is over 8,000 trees uh, in a single frame um, but the chunks or the trees are now yay now they're generated um, it's good now they're generated and uh, let's pretend that I get it working on an object and the lighting becomes great awesome now we have lighting now it's all good great Um the other thing I'm gonna have to do the other problem with this is generating takes forever it was a 10 minute wait just to log into the game because the terrain was generating that's why I haven't refreshed it and shown you guys um, what it looks like when it's generating uh, with all the trees because it takes forever and the reason is because each tree 
has roughly 6,000 vertices, 6,000 points, 6,000. Um, so this cube, for instance, uh, down here has 36 separate points. And you may be like, no, I'm pretty sure a cube is eight. Well, you're not incorporating triangles. So this is a triangle. Oh, my bad. Sorry for the sound again. So uh, <laughs> I'm not sure why it's doing that. Don't worry about it. So this is a triangle. And this is a triangle. Actually, I think the best example would be wireframe. Let's go down here. And there we go. So you can see all the triangles on this now. So it's not actually eight points. It's 36. So you have one, two, three for that triangle. 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 One, two, three. Blah, 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 blah. And eventually you get to all um, six faces. And each face has six points. So six times six, 36. You have actually have 36 points. So even though it may not, it, uh, may look like these trees don't have um, 6,000 points, uh, they actually have 6,000 points. And each tree has 6,000 points. 6,000. Look at how many trees there are. There is like a good, um, let's pretend, uh, uh, I'm not entirely sure, I haven't checked, but there's roughly um, 10 trees, 10 by 10 trees, so 100 trees per chunk. Um, and there is 36 chunks, so 3,600 trees roughly. Um, roughly yeah, 3,600 trees and let me just get a calculator real quick so 3,600 times 6,000 that's a big number hold on I'm not even sure how big that is 21 million vertices 21 million vertices that I have to manually position and align or not manually but I have to position and align um, 21 million vertices in total that's a lot of vertices it's a lot of vertices so yeah it's gonna it uh, i'm gonna have to think of some interesting techniques to somehow fix this issue um first thing i'm gonna have to somehow fix the lighting by creating a dummy entity and parenting the trees to that um and then i'm gonna have to generate so not only not only will i have to generate the um, first tree texture, but I'll have to generate a lower definition tree um, mesh to be rendered um, at farther distances. And this is just like, it's becoming a big thing. And this is an issue that has come up in video games. I haven't looked at any videos. Um, normally I like to do research, uh, a, l a little bit of research before videos or um, before making stuff. But in, in this regard, I have not, I'm just, I am flying blind here. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> so um, there's just some very interesting issues that I'm going to have to solve um, in the terrain. And that's why development is so slow, because I have to think of these interesting and weird techniques and figuring all this stuff out. And I, I have no idea what the heck I'm even doing. Um, so that's about it for now. Um, oh, another thing that I did that I didn't mention was um, this rock blending system and the shadow system has been completely rewritten. So you may be thinking, oh, um, it looks kind of similar. Well, it's actually been completely rewritten. Um, it uses this beautiful looking um, light map instead of a um, purge vertice, um, per vertice UV thing I'm not really sure what it's called um, but this looks a little bit nicer and it's a little hard to tell but there is a shadow coming down and going across kind of like this area um, but the building and the trees are in the way so yeah and the trees of course they don't cast shadows yet because guess what they aren't actually physical I can go through them <laughs> so not only I'm gonna have to figure out um, meshes on the client, but I'm going to have to figure out meshes on the server, which means I have to generate physics meshes per tree, and then it just gets all into this funny business. So. Um, and then I'll probably have to do 
um, pathways and stuff through the trees somehow. I have I literally have no idea how I'm going to do that. So <laughs> it's it all it's all a little harder than you think. Because um, you may have thought, oh, just just make a grid of trees. No, it's not that easy. It's not that easy. Yet. This is true for a lot of things. Um, um, just like, oh, just do this. No, it's not that easy. <laughs> Source makes it weird. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, that's it for this video. In the next one, it'll probably be more trees. I'm not going to lie. It'll just be trees and, like, brushes and stuff for, like, the next couple of videos. Because, man, this stuff is complicated. Um, but, yeah. Hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next video.